Hi, my name is Brandon Brown. I am an intern at Quest Integration, and I am currently working towards my Bachelor's of Science degree in Mechanical Engineering at Montana State University. I was tasked with obtaining the thermophysical properties of various meats for use with SOLIDWORKS simulation. To obtain these properties, I created a mathematical model that calculates the thermal conductivity, thermal diffusivity, density, and specific heat of a variety of foods based upon tabulated data and mathematical models detailed in the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers Refrigeration Handbook. In this handbook, data is provided for over 100 different foods, including vegetables, meats, fruits, dairy products, nuts, candy, and various juices and beverages. Normally, when building a model like this, I would prefer to use a tool like MathCAD or MATLAB, but in this case, I utilize Microsoft Excel. To demonstrate the use of this model, I will now calculate the thermophysical properties of lean beef sirloin at a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. I will now enter the initial freezing point, moisture content, protein content, fat content, carbohydrate and fiber content and ash content of the lean beef sirloin. Given these values, the model calculates our desired properties of the lean beef sirloin at 50 degrees Celsius. Now this is great, but it's only part of the story. If you were to put a steak in the barbecue and cook it, the temperature of the meat would vary drastically throughout the cooking process. Since the thermophysical properties of foods are heavily dependent on temperature, they would also vary throughout the cooking process, and we need to modify the model to account for this. Now, given the same inputs, the model creates a temperature-dependent table of the thermophysical properties of the lean beef sirloin for the range of temperatures for which the model is valid. We can copy these tables directly into SOLIDWORKS simulation to account for the temperature-dependent behavior of the meat's thermophysical properties. Utilizing Microsoft Excel and the American Society of Heating, Refrigeration, and Air Conditioning Engineers Refrigeration Handbook, we were able to easily generate the thermophysical properties of a variety of foods for use with SOLIDWORKS simulation. This enables us to easily set up a realistic simulation and make great design happen. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and call us if you have any questions.